Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. I saw a video scroll past my Facebook the other day of cauliflower breadsticks. So I was like, you know, I'm going to give that a shot, but I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to do cheese sticks. So you guys ready? Let's do this together. It's our first time. Let's go. Chin chin. All right, guys, let's do this. Mini processor. Meet the people. Best investment ever. This minces up my garlic everything. So I got a head of cauliflower here that I cut the florets off of it. And we're going to mush this up so it looks like a fine rice. Anyways, let me get this done and we'll be right back. So we did the cauliflower. I've got um, five cloves of garlic there. It all depends. If you're not crazy about garlic, just go less. I just want to show you how nice this does with garlic. Look at that. Knife cutting board. See you later. We're doing this. All right, we'll be back. Uh, the mushing up is done. Just have a big bowl. Okay, my spices are going to be, I've got like a good teaspoon of oregano and a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. Now, I'm going to be using something else, so that's why there's not a whole lot of spices right now. If that's all you're using, double that. I'm going to use some uh, Tango Joe's Rome is Burning. I'm going to put a link to where you can get that stuff. And it's an Italian seasoning blend, so it sounds great. Probably a good, a good tablespoon. This stuff is so good, you guys. All right. So let's mix this up real quick. Mix all your dry stuff together first. And I'll be right back. I'm going to get some eggs. All right. Sorry about that. I had to go to the chicken coop to get eggs. I thought I had enough. Three eggs. All right. Let's mix that up. Break the yolks. So everything's covered in the egg. It smells good. That Tango Joe stuff is ridiculous. Okay. All right. So I've got uh, probably, mm, say, a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to save some for uh, the topping a little bit. So probably put a cup of that in there. And uh, this is some Chipotle Monterey Jack. A little spicy. Again, save some for the top a little bit. Let's mix this up and then we'll go to phase uh, something three or four. I can't remember. All right, the paddle's out. So with the paddle out, I got that turning nubby thing that's in there. And I don't have the special pan that doesn't have a nub. So I'm going to make do. I've got some parchment paper here. I'm going to lay that in there. And I'm going to poke a hole where it turns so it has room to turn. Let me trim this up. We'll be back. Bon. Okay. So just trim it so it doesn't touch the burner that's on top here. So trim it, you know, halfway. Here's the mixture. And I'm just going to put that on. The, I'm just going to layer that on the bottom and then I'll flatten it down. So let me do this and I'll be right back. All of it's in there. So this is just a cake frosting decorator and I'm just going to flatten it down towards the edges or you can use the back of a spoon you don't need special tools I don't like to buy special tools if I can use something I already have that's just what I'm going to do let me finish this we'll be back isn't that just beautiful somebody's going to say well why the parchment paper because it's going to be easy when it's cooked I'm just going to pull it out of there right okay so Let's turn the bottom. Oh, I'm thinking the bottom. Hmm. I might turn off the bottom little, a little ways in because it cooks really, not fast, but really good. And I don't want the bottom to be cooked before the top. So, but I am going to put it on for now. And I'm going to cook it, not very fast, at a two. And I'll let you know how long. All right, guys. Wow. 25 minutes. I don't know what the bottom looks like, but 
I'll tell you what, it feels like something's going on. <laughs> Alright, so I have that rest of the mozzarella cheese. Just gonna sprinkle that on top. Mm, this smells so good. That hole that's pretty it's just got it's got small, anyways. But that's a good idea to cut that. And there's the rest of my Chipotle Monterey Jack. Impressive. This is my first time using parchment paper in here too. So that works. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn it down to a one and just do this for about five minutes or so. We'll do that. Alright guys. That was probably about six minutes. Oh my god. I'm fogging up the lens. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna let that cool. And uh I'm gonna put it on this cutting board, see how easy it slides off there or, or not. Anyways, you guys will be there to see it. We'll be back. Still a little warm. I'm gonna take it out anyway. There we go. Whew. I'm gonna take it off the parchment paper and just let it cool a little bit more on this um, cutting board. Cheese. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the bottom looks like. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. All right. I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit more. It's still hot. It was about five ten minutes. So I'll be back. You know, just by looking at it, I think the next time I'll just do half of the stuff at a time. Because it's, it's thick. I mean, it's not thick, but you know what I mean. I thought it was going to be a little bit thinner. So, let's slice it up here. I'm going to cut it like in the fingers. Now we got some pasta sauce or marinara doesn't matter so total cooking time is probably about 30 minutes about 25 on two and then another five on uh, three came top so there it is there you go all right there it goes. Hmm. Well, the flavor is awesome. Texture wise, I probably cook it a little bit longer. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut these up in strips and put them back in there just to get it crispier. So it's good. The flavor's ridiculous. So next time, I'm not going to do the whole amount in there. I'm just going to do half of the portion and might bump it up to a three. But the flavor is really good, you guys. So I hope uh, this helps anybody. It's not. It's really good. See, the bottom's good. It's just, I mean, it's cauliflower. It's not bread. You see? So... It's not going to taste like bread. It's pretty damn close. But there you go, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye.